All right, what's good, yo? It's your boy Fiasco, and welcome back to the channel. And today, for you guys, I got some eye racing. It's been a minute since I've done a little bit of eye racing. I think it's been well over two months since I've ran a race. Last time I ran a race, I was in the k and National Series. I did a few races at Phoenix, and then after that, I did some races at Irwindale. Uh, I did three starts in Irwindale, and I actually got two wins out of it, so I was feeling pretty good uh, once I stopped doing eye racing. I, I don't know why I stopped. I just wind up not doing it anymore after a while so I wind up cutting off the subscription but I came back because I knew I had my C-Class license and this week we are running I'm um, in Iowa as of this date today we're actually starting our Gateway Motorsports Park races and I plan on participating in that later in the week if not I might run a race tonight if not I'll do it like tomorrow or the day after but I will be running a Gateway race so you guys can expect a video on that and you see here I did not expect to qualify as high as I did because um, the day before I was I was watching somebody run their laps and they were running like consistently like 23 threes and stuff like that so you see here we got a 23 357 this blew my mind because all throughout practice I was running a 23 6 and no matter how much I tried I couldn't get the 23 3 but when it counted I wound up getting it so we start out third, we wind up getting a good start in the beginning of the race. We're following the leader, he went off a pace car, we went behind him, and now we are second throughout the entire first lap. This guy's already pulling away, he's running a much higher line than I am. I was pretty crazy because your tires get eaten alive if you're running the low line or the middle line or anything. Like this tire, this this track just eats tires up like you can run a 23-3 in the first lap and then the rest and the rest of your laps are just like 23-6s and beyond so um, yellow flag comes out on lap 3 we're gonna see what happened here and you see it's already getting dicey here coming into the trial well, the 15 gets pinched up by the 17 he's gonna come down low he's, sway he's going all over the place trying to find the home but he doesn't know that the 23 already has him on the outside so he comes up and hits him flips a little bit going into turn 1 and RIP Hudson Hornet. So the 19 gets rear-ended, the 22 gets rear-ended. This is all in the same incident. Um, I guess they were trying to avoid the flipping 15 car. So we're gonna follow the 22 here. You see, way back there, you sh already should have been letting up, bro. You saw the 2015 car was on its side and you're still hammering down. So I'm like, come on, bro. So lap four here, we decide to stay out. Hindsight being 2020, I probably should have pitted because our tires are already pretty worn at this point. I mean, they're not pretty worn, but they are worn towards the point where the people behind us will be able to run like a tenth or faster. So we decide to stay out. Lap 9, we get the restart. You see Tyler Meeks in that 2 car. It goes on our inside, but we get a better run coming out of 2. We're going to go to his inside on the back stretch here, try to make the pass. And we go in pretty shallow in turn 3. You know, this one not being my problem throughout the entire race. Whenever I had somebody on my outside, I was so timid and scared to push it too hard and wind up shooting up the track on them coming out of a turn or in the middle of the turn because I had done that enough in my first Iowa race. So whenever I was running the low line, I was running it like a lot slower than I really should have been. I was racing really conservatively and that cost me a lot of positions. It's really a mental thing and a lack of experience that I have with this being like my second c-class race ever so i don't know how hard i can push the truck but i know with experience i'll be able to race with a lot more confidence and you see here on lap 23 we lost a lot of ground to andy andrews in the 17 truck and uh, let's skip ahead over here to lap 25 we have the number five on our inside we're gonna try to fight him for the position because we do have the outside iowa is a really tough place to make a pass even if you have the inside on somebody it's hard to clear them coming out of a turn because on the outside you get so much more momentum. You see here we actually get an advantage on the 5 car even though we were running the outside line. Uh, hopping over here to lap 26. You see the 17 car getting way too high coming out of turn 4. He hits the wall. He's holding the bottom, holding the bottom. But he winds up coming up a little bit so I let off because I don't want to rear end him. And I'm going to keep that in mind. You see the 17 look right in front of me all over the place. I don't know how to approach this guy. I wanted to come down, but I saw the 5 was on my inside already, so I didn't want to risk it, try to cut him off the, on the 5 because I probably would have been a wreck right there. So I let the 5 get a little ahead of me so he could try to make a move on the 17 because I'm not trying to make anything way too dramatic. But you see we're on lap 29 now, and this 17 car is really holding us up. I keep calling the car's trucks. The 17 truck 
keeps holding us up, and now everybody behind us is catching up. Nobody can pass him. Well, the five managed to get by him, thank God. But the 17 is just absolutely all over the place. He can't hold a line or anything like that, even though he's obviously slower than half of us. So we're going to go in on the 17 here. We're really pushing hard to try and get a pass here, try to clear him coming out of turn two. But we take it, again, we take it way too conservatively because I'm too scared to come up on the 17 car and cause an incident. You see, he comes down in the middle of the turn. What are you doing, bro? Hold the line. That's all you got to do. It's ridiculous. So we hop over to lap 32. 17 hits the wall coming out of turn two. I just don't feel safe around this guy. And I know the 20 car doesn't feel safe either. But he's going to be able to pass him on the inside. Will he be able to clear him? No, he won't. 17 hits the wall again. I think that's the third or fourth time he's done that so far. And it's side by side resting. The 17 almost clears him. And I think they're going to make some contact. But they managed to not wreck somehow. This absolute insanity in front of me. I really just want to get past these guys. I've been trying to get past the 17 car for like the past 10 laps or so. I have no idea. I think it hit the wall back on lap 23. It's ridiculous. And you see here, whenever I run the bottom line, I'm just way too timid. I just need to push it harder and see how hard I can push my truck. So you see more guys behind us are catching up because the 17 car has no idea what he's doing. So we have the 12 past us, we have the 19 right behind us, and the 17 car loses control coming out of turn 2. He smacks the wall, goes to the inside, and absolutely loses it. And the inevitable incident, the inevitable wreck, has finally happened. Let's see what happened here on the 17. You see, he was riding that high line, but hits the wall coming out of turn 2. Comes down, comes straight back up with absolutely no control of his truck and wrecks. Luckily, everybody else is able to miss him, and we finally get a yellow flag after about 26 laps of green flag racing so here we have our first pit stop coming in nice and smooth and let's get it done I know my tires are screaming after a 36 lap run and I know we don't have a whole lot of time left in this race so right now I'm just concerned with trying to gain a little bit of track position keep it clean just have a decent end of the race here because I know I'm not as fast as the rest of these guys even though I qualified well I'm not experienced with longer runs here on Iowa. I'm not experienced with racing in these trucks to begin with. So right now, I'm just trying to have a clean race, gain some experience, hopefully race a little harder for some positions. You see green flag is out. We have around 19 laps to go. We are on lap 42 of 60 here in Iowa, holding that bottom line. Well, I know I can do it because we're on brand new tires. We're running this guy a little harder on the back stretch. A little more aware of how much space I can give people. A little bit loose coming into turn three, but we hold it in the middles of turn three and four. The nine gets a little bit of a run to our outside going into the trial. I want to go low, but the three is right below us. He's trying to push it three wide. I'm like, hell no. I am not ready to go three wide, bro. Bro, you got me fucked up with that. Uh-uh. So y'all saw me hop out of the throttle really early going into turn one. I am not trying to wreck right here. Absolutely not. So I jump out of the throttle. I'm not trying to push three wide. I'm not that experienced in the trucks yet. I don't want to wreck. So right now on the back stretch, I go to the inside of that 13 car. And we hop a little further to lap 45. We're on the outside here. The so three is a little all over the place. I'm, I'm going to take note of that because I don't know how much I can trust him. You see he's side by side with the 16 here. We have somebody to our outside, the number one car. I believe that was. So we're going to hold the inside line in turns three and four. You see the two cars ahead of us, they're getting a little together coming out of turn four, but they managed to keep it clean, no harm, no foul there. We're just going to keep on racing with 13 laps to go here at Iowa. And let's see what else happens. They've managed to keep it clean for now. We are hopping over to lap 57, and on the back stretch, there's a wreck right in front of us. This is surely going to end the race. Oh, please don't hit us! Oh my god, I have no idea how we managed to miss that guy. I thought for sure he was going to come back up on the track, so you saw me lift out of the throttle in hopes that I wouldn't hit him. You see, there's absolutely, I have no idea where to go, there's smoke everywhere, and he almost comes up, but he winds up holding the brakes, thank god. So after all of that, we wind up getting a 14th place finish. Not the best finish in the world, especially since we qualified third, but I hope to get a little more experience. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Part of me just wishes I could be a different kind of center When bullets meet the opposition, man, no one's a winner Fucking up, I swear to God that I'll change it Give me a chance to win your love and I'll take it Part of me just wishes I could be a different kind of center
the center.